What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from SeaWorld Orlando and today the park invited us out to announce their new roller coaster for 2023. We're gonna get all the details and see some cool stuff. Let's go! at SeaWorld and solidifies the park as the roller coaster capital of Orlando. 
We are happy to announce that this attraction will open in 2023, and our annual cast members will be amongst the first to ride with exclusive ride times. We can't wait to hang 10 with you next year. Can't hang ten in socks. Is that the word for shoes? Surf's up, my dudes. Pipeline, surf coaster. Look at this board. It's awesome. Need photo opportunity spot. They have this photo opportunity spot in the park later on. It's gonna be awesome. All right, and now we are getting an up close view of a piece of that track for Pipeline Surf Coaster. There we go, track with the graphic. So there we go, top speed 60 miles an hour, max height 110 feet, track length 2,950 feet, first ever dynamic strength for this pipeline surf coaster and here we are right next to the track So here we are, hanging out with the B&M track, Pipeline, the surf coaster. It's right here, it's beautiful. Alrighty guys, so we have a special person here to talk to us about Pipeline, Mr. Jeff Hornick. And Jeff, can you tell me what's going on with this project, why it makes it so exciting to have it here at SeaWorld Orlando? Uh, we are so excited to announce Pipeline is coming to SeaWorld Orlando in 2023. This will be the world's first surf coaster experience. It's going to start with a dynamic launch and it has a next generation train design that allow guests to experience wave jumping motions to get the sensation that they're actually surfing on a roller coaster. Okay, so you say surf coaster, there's wave motions and whatnot. The train design is brand new, spanking new, like prototype ask. And what made you guys think, you know what, we're gonna go with the prototype? You know, there's been years of R&D and development to create this next generation train design. It's taking elements of previous iterations and being able to enhance those and make those even better. This is only a two wide train, so you're gonna feel very open and exposed as you're on the ride, as you would be if you're on a surfboard. The surfboard itself is so cool. 24 passengers, and we spent a lot of time developing a really cool slick graphics package on the top of it. And the restraints themselves are super dynamic, so our guests will actually have a certain level of interactivity as they're riding on the roller coaster. So no two rides will ever be the same. So of course, SeaWorld is known for B&M coasters, this one being another one. Guests that normally come to the park are used to the over-the-shoulder restraints that are kind of close to the head. This is a different style of restraint where it's more open feeling, correct? 
This restraint system is brand new. It's, it's an over-the-shoulder restraint, but it keeps it very open, super comfortable, and the fact that it is dynamic, it actually moves with you as you're going through the ride course, makes it for a fun, smooth, enjoyable, and interactive experience. Okay, excellent. And we have two trains on this coaster, correct? Two trains, 24 passengers. Okay, excellent. And I cannot wait for uh, Pipeline the Surf Coaster. I'm really excited. It's nice to finally see it announced, and uh, we'll be riding it hopefully soon. Thank you, Jeff. Yep, thank you. Alrighty guys, so we have our next interviewee and we have Jonathan and Jonathan, we talked many, many times about exciting new attractions and you've got one here at SeaWorld Orlando opening up next year. Can you tell me about Pipeline? Yeah, so we're excited in the spring of 2023, we're gonna be debuting Pipeline the Surf Coaster. It is the world's first surf coaster. It is a first of its kind attraction on the planet that can only be found here at SeaWorld Orlando. So Pipeline the Surf Coaster is inspired by classical you know, surf cultures found throughout the entire world. It's not necessarily one location, but we wanna celebrate this surfing experience. And your journey on your surfboard uh, begins on a wave launch experience as we propel you on your surfboard to a speed of 60 miles per hour. There's an airtime moment right after the launch and then you go into a 110 foot tall hammerhead wave element. And it's all about the elements, but what's really unique about this attraction is them all combined together there's these wave jumping motions that our surfers are going to be able to experience. And what I mean by that is, if you saw the video, there is some movement of the restraint system, a heave movement, up, a vertical motion up and down. And if you think about surfing, you don't stand erect on your surfboard. You're gonna fall off into the water if you're standing erect. Well here, you're able to control your center of gravity and your motion a little bit, bend your knees and kind of maintain whatever posture you want on your surfboard. So it's really cool. We also have a wave curl inversion that's actually really inspired by a real surfing element. It's called an alley-oop, which is a really difficult maneuver. Only the best surfers in the entire world are actually able to perform this. And you can do that here, right here, in Pipeline, the surf coaster at SeaWorld Orlando. And what that motion is, is you leave your surfboard a little bit, you jump, you invert, and you land back on your surfboard on the other side. And so that inversion is inspired by that particular element. It sounds like if I tried it out in the wild, uh, say here near Daytona Beach, I would definitely fall flat on my face. Uh, so we have a chance to at least try some unique elements here. I want to talk a little bit more about the train if we can. Yes. As far as that motion, is it predetermined? Is it by gravity? Is it like controlled? How is that happening? Is it triggered by something? What's going on? It's all physics. It's all, it's all gravity. It's nothing controlled electronically. So um, there'll be some minor variations based on the body weight and the posture and the height of the person or the patron or the surfer, I should really say. Yeah. Uh, but so it's going to be very different. It's going to be very different from the front, you know, to the back, to the middle. And there's 24 passengers on this vehicle, six coaches, and they're big surfboards. And it's iconic. They're gnarly. They're gigantic looking. And one thing that's really unique is a surfboard sits above and proud of the station deck. You'll kind of step up into your board as you're loading in to your surfboard or leaving onto the unload deck. And so you're gonna see it, it's gonna look iconic and it's an incredible design. Hopefully you picked that out a little bit on the videos. Uh, we spent a lot of time thinking about how do we create an old school looking surfboard that people are really gonna love and treasure. And uh, another thing that I really like about this attraction is how close proximity it is to all the other guests and whatnot. So even at the front entrance, we've showed in our other videos, it's right there. So as people are queuing up, waiting to go into the park, coasters there. I can even see on this diagram we have the actual queue right next to the launch as well. Looks like the exit side is on the opposite side. So you're involving the guests throughout the entire way and that pathway goes right underneath the coaster too. That's right. We always want to have interaction with the guests. It creates great photo opportunities, especially when you have an iconic and gnarly vehicle that we have here, unlike anything else in the world. So we want to get a lot of viewpoints of that. Um, so if folks like yourself and bloggers and media, they can actually get great pictures, great videos, and it kind of helps build the excitement of, for those guests that might be on the fence on trying it, they get to look at it a little bit, see everybody having a really good time, playing with the surfboard a little bit, uh, they're gonna get, get in line right away. And it does build the excitement as you're coming into the park too. You're gonna have a great view of the launcher and the Camelback Hill after the launch before the hammerhead uh, wave element. So it's, it's gonna build a lot of excitement, absolutely. And it's by the lagoon, by Bayside, um, we have to play on the, the, the surf culture, the surf theme, so we're right by the water. So you yeah, can't yeah. have a surf coaster that's not on the water. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so, which is really important. So one other, I have two final questions. One, do we know a height requirement for this yet? Yes, yeah, so a minimum rider requirements are 54 inches for okay. pipeline. Okay, so the demographic you're looking for is 54 inches in line with all the other SeaWorld B&M coasters there. And uh, finally, what does this coaster mean to you? 
Uh, it's it's, really, mean, it's I, really special for me. I mean, this is a new attraction. Um, it's a it's a great ride manufacturer that we're working with. A great partnership here. Um, so it's it's just amazing and refreshing to be able to work on something new, never been done before, um, and then see everyone's reaction to it. So there's more to come. Um, it's it's one thing to see it on a, a video here, and it's one thing to actually see the vehicle itself. So. Uh, more to come Ooh. here in the, in the near future. I was going to say, I'm going to have to pick up on that. So, uh, you have seen the vehicle, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Is it here? It is not here. Okay. Well, that's all I need to know, and I'm not going to pry anymore. Jonathan, you've been amazing. Cannot wait for Pipeline, the surf coaster, and 2023. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Well, guys, that's going to do it for our video here from SeaWorld Orlando for the announcement of their 2023 roller coaster known as Pipeline, the surf coaster. I do want to say thank you to them for inviting us out. Of course, we will have plenty more updates from this. If you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I'll see you out on the Midway.